first and foremost, all thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Wabrakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters also. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. All right. This is second Ezra chapter nine and verse one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which, at, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So if you have understanding, you can clearly see that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is visiting the world in which he made. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So prophecies are constantly coming to pass. Things are constantly moving. Action is constantly taking place. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is visiting the world in which he made. And one of the ways that he's visiting the earth in which he made is through earthquakes. Now, in Japan, you had a 7.5 earthquake. And at this particular time, okay, at this present moment, 57 have been found dead thus far. You had a really small earthquake that just happened this year. And in fact, the one that happened in Japan, that was this year, very first day, right? January 1st, 2024. You had the earthquake in Japan, the 7.5, which thus far 57 are dead. You had the small earthquake in New York. It was a 1.7 uh, size earthquake. Then you had the 4.1 magnitude earthquake hit California. And all these things happened at the very, very start of the year. 2024 just started, man. This year hasn't been going on. <laughs> for a whole week and the Lord is already you know shaking up the earth it's only January 2nd right now okay so if we understand then we know that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is visiting the world in which he made you know you have upwards of the people going on all throughout the world you had a, uh, <clears throat> a Hamas leader that was just killed you had a South Korean opposition leader that was just stabbed. All of these things are happening because we are not in the time of peace. But we are in definite. <clears throat> we are definitely in the time of judgment. We are definitely in the time of the Lord doing everything he promised to us. All right. Let's go to Psalms chapter 47. <clears throat> Verse 2, for the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is terrible. He's a terrible power. The Lord can do somebody dirty, man. The Lord can do somebody terribly dirty, right? He's the king over all the earth. And guess what he's visiting? The earth. That's why so much is happening all the time. In this world, from their perspective, no good news is taking place. But from our perspective, okay, being believers in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, all of these things work so that we may obtain the kingdom. This kingdom has to go down. Our kingdom is next up. As this kingdom goes down, a lot of things have to take place as what the world will deem as negative well guess what this place has to reap what it's sown 
this place has been sown in wickedness. In fact, all the all the governments of this world today have been sown in wickedness. So it's only right that these governments go down when Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai overthrows them, who is a king of terror. All right. And seeing that he's a king of terror and he's a king over all the earth, going back to 2nd Ezra 9 and 1, actually 9 and 2. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the king of the earth, the king of terrors, is visiting the earth in which he made. Earthquakes being one of those ways that he's visiting the earth so when you go to Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 6 thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts so remember the Lord is visiting the earth in which he made thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire so there are many ways that the Lord can show that he's visiting the earth. And one of those ways being earthquakes. So the, the, the very first day of 2024, the earth was shaken. You know, parts of the earth was being shaken up. Very first day. You think that's a coincidence? There's 365 days in the year. And the very first day of the year, the Lord set it off with various earthquakes in diverse places, as the scriptures say. So we are definitely in the time of the end. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts or the Lord of armies with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So whether it's by earthquake, tsunami, uh, tornado, hurricane, forest fires, you know, the list goes on. All of these are various ways of the Lord visiting the earth. In which he made. Let's touch on Luke. Chapter 21. And verse 11. And great earthquakes. Shall be in diverse places. So at the very start of the year. You had an earthquake in Japan. You had an earthquake in California. And then. At the other end of Babylon. You had an earthquake in New York. All in one day. And these are just. You know things that. I can remember things that I'm aware of at this point of time. There's a lot more happening than what I'm even bringing up. There's a whole lot happening. And great earthquakes. So what happened in Japan, that 7.5 earthquake, which so far 57 people have died. That's a great earthquake. That's a great magnitude of an earthquake. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. And the fact that people are even seeing chariot sightings. People are in fear seeing chariots, not knowing what they are. But see, we have the understanding. We know exactly what they are. These are all just signs showing that the Lord is visiting the earth in which he made. The king of terrors, the king of the earth, is visiting the earth in which he made. For a very long time, he's winked at a lot of people's ignorance. For a very long time, the Lord has been very patient. The Lord has been a power that has hid himself for quite a while now. But Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, like a fierce grizzly bear, waking up out of hibernating and seeking out prey. Well, that's what the Lord is doing right now. The time of, you know, hibernation, so to speak. That's over. You know, the great fierce power known as Yahweh Ba Shemi Shai is visiting the earth in which he made. A great fierce power has came out of his cave, so to speak, spiritually speaking. Okay, and he is definitely showing signs that his footprint is back in the earth, working marvelous works. Okay, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you, and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues, 
and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And that's really close. That's why they have the Mark of the Beast ready. They have the guillotines ready. They have these concentration camps ready. Okay? Because the time's coming where some of us are going to be delivered up. Okay? But the Lord is going to be with his men and his women. The Lord is going to be with his in general. Period. Point blank. So let's touch on Psalms 119. And verse 126, it is time for the Lord to work, for they have made void the law. So here it is, the second day of 2024, and on the very first day of 2024, the Lord showing that he's working. And yet you have men in this ministry, their faith is very little. They don't believe that the end is drawing nigher and nigher than what we even know. There's a lot of people who may actually see that the end is drawing nigh, but they're not going to admit that for a long time, in their ignorance, they were trying to teach other things, but then act as if this whole time they could clearly see that we're at the end. It is time for the Lord to work, for they have made void thy law. Verse 137, righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. So the Lord is bringing judgment every day. And when he brings judgment, it's upright. It's never wicked. Anything that's ever happened in this earth is from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shine, regardless of how many people are affected in a negative way or a positive way. However it comes, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is the judge behind it. And he is not a power to do wickedness so seeing how the Lord is visiting the earth in which he made and the earth is going through various turmoils turmoils all throughout it and you still have um, people on the outside questioning whether or not this society is going to be here another 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years but if you're in the know it doesn't even look like this society has a year left now, either way it goes, because we don't know the exact time or the exact day, we know that we're in the season. And we know for a fact that the end is drawing nigh, man. The Lord is moving, and we got to keep up. We have to keep up. So I wanted to make this uh, swift and quick. Lord willing, this was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So I'm going to go on ahead and wrap it up and give all thanks and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wawakakwadash, Shalom.